In this lecture, we are going to create a new endpoint or a new controller for our NZVox API. We will going to create a regions controller so that we can manipulate the region domain model that we have or if you want to say regions table in our SQL Server database. We want to perform CRUD operations that is creating a new region, updating a region, getting all the regions back or getting a single region back or deleting a region. So we want to perform all these action on the region domain model or the region table through our controllers. So let's create a controller or an endpoint for our regions resource. So right click on controllers, go to the add menu and click on controller. In here, we want to go to the API from the left hand side and choose API controller empty. Click on that and click on the add button to create a new controller. Now we have to specify the name of the controller and as you know it has to be suffixed with the keyword controller so that the application can identify this class as a controller class. And because we want to create the regions endpoint, we want to name this as the regions controller. Click on the add, add button to create this controller. Now the controller by default has the route attribute and the API controller attribute as well. So the API controller attribute will tell this application that this controller is for API use. So it automatically, you know, for example, validates the model state and gives a 400 response back uh, to the caller. The route attribute is basically defining the route. Whenever a user enters this route along with the application URL, it will be pointed to the regions controller. So for example, if I put a comment over here that for example, our application is HTTPS localhost 1234, that is just an example. If you have this application, the route for this controller is going to forward slash API forward slash the name of the controller because that is what is denoted by these square brackets. You can also replace it with the word regions and that will be the same thing as what we have over here. So the location is pointing to forward slash API forward slash regions. And when somebody enters this URL, it will be pointing to the regions controller. Now we have to create action methods so that we can get create, update and delete on this regions resource. So let's create our first action method. Let's expand this and create a public I action result, which is the response type. The name of the method we want to call is get all, which means we will get all the regions from this action method. And because we are getting a resource, this will be the HTTP get resource. So I'm using the HTTP get verb as the attribute. And now let's implement this method. We want to return all the regions from this method and finally give back to the caller. In our case, we will be using Swagger to test this. So whenever we call this method through Swagger, it should give us a list of regions back. So let's just hard code these regions for now. And later on, we will get the regions from the database. So let's say we create a list of regions is equal to new list. And this is of type region coming from the domain model. So region press control dot and get the using statement. And inside here, we want to create a new region first. So that will be the first item in this list of regions. So the first ID, I can just specify this as GUID dot new GUID. This will create me a new GUID, a new unique identifier. Then I have the name of the region. Let's say this is the Auckland region. The code for this one, let's say is AKL. And finally, we have the region image URL. So I will get an image URL. So this is just a stock image that I've got from Pexels. 
and this is the image for the region uh, Auckland. Now I'm going to create another region. Let's say this is Wellington. So I'm just copy pasting it again to save some time. I'll change this to Wellington region and let's change the code to WLG. Now let's change the image to Wellington as well. And with that, I have two regions that I want to return back when I ask for all the regions. You can have a unlimited list of regions from, you know, your state, your country or wherever you're from. But for this example, I'm just hard coding the list of regions so that we can receive this result back inside Swagger. So once we have defined the list of regions and ideally we will be getting this just in a few more minutes from the database, we will then use this list and return an OK response, which also means that this is a success response with a status of 200. And inside brackets, we can specify the object that we want to return as well. So we are returning the list of regions back to the caller. And with that change, we are now ready to use this method from Swagger. Just for example, I'm also commenting that what would be the URL and the HTTP verb if you want to access the get all method. The get all regions method is accessed by the HTTP get keyword and the resource URL is HTTPS localhost 1234 for this could be totally your port so i can mention this as port number and forward slash api forward slash regions and this is a restful uh, url because i am accessing the regions resource and by using the get keyword i am just calling this method instead so save that and it's now time to test the changes so i will run my application now, along with the weather forecast endpoint and the student endpoint, which is just a temporary thing for now, and we will clean this up in later, we now also see the regions endpoint, which have the one single action method called get all regions. If I expand on that, I can use the try it out button and click on this execute button over here. It goes to the controller and it gets me the list of regions back. You can see a JSON response, which is an array of items, which is the region items over here. So I'm getting the ID, code, name and region image URL as well. And now we can see that we have a structure for the get all method ready. This is at the moment hard coded into the method but we will now convert this and make it call the database using the db context and get the regions from there.